One of the most important um, things about general care, overall care of a lensometer is making sure that your lensometer is clean. For instance, your eyepiece, your lens stop um, doesn't have any debris or dust um, or for your eyepiece instances, um, there's no fingerprints or any kind of scuffs on it. To get the debris and um, dust that might have settled into your eyepiece or your lens stop or really any of the crevices on the lensometer itself, compressed air will be the way to do that. The nozzle of the compressed air can can get into any of the crevices that your cloth or duster or whatever it is that you may be using to clean your lensometer with wouldn't be able to reach. So rule of thumb, you just want to hold um, the tip of the nozzle about 10 to 12 inches away away from the surface of whatever it is that you're cleaning. Um, this is cold air that shoots out. If you've ever um, sprayed or shot compressed air out onto like a glass surface or a mirror, you see that it almost like freezes a little bit, leaves this weird um, cloudy residue, not residue, but like leaves this weird cloudy um, spot. Uh, that does go away immediately. We just don't want to risk ruining your lens on the lensometer. So roll a thumb 10 to 12 inches away and you just want to spray at it from multiple angles just to make sure that any debris that might have settled into a crevice is out of there. So another thing that you really want to make sure is clean um, on your lensometer is your eyepiece. Um, sometimes if you get a little too excited, you lean too close on here. Um, uh, I've personally touched my actual eye to the eyepiece. Does not feel very good, I promise. Once you do it once, you won't do it again. Um, but just even, you know, sometimes you'll be standing there talking and you might get some fingerprints on there. Um, so what you really want to make sure that uh, your eyepiece is clean. So you just take a microfiber cloth, you set that on your eyepiece, the, the lens itself, and then you just kind of turn it and rub it in a circular motion um, for about 10 seconds or so just to make sure any um, grease or anything that might be on there, um, any oils are um, wiped away. Um, the way that you'll know if you clean that properly or not, you'll look in there and you won't see any smudges. It'll be nice and clean. I wouldn't suggest using alcohol on your um, eyepiece uh, or the lens on here just because uh, we don't want that alcohol to settle around the edges of the where the lens meets the actual eyepiece and cause any kind of damage to the metal or the glass of the lens itself. Another thing that we want to make sure is taken care of and well lubricated um, and clean on the lensometer is the ink pad itself. Um, the ink pad is what you use to mark up your lenses, whether it's um, optical center or progressives or OC height or anything that you might need to mark your lenses up, these marking pins are going to be doing that. So if you don't have ink in there, you're not going to get very good marks. The way that you um, add more ink to the lensometer itself, there's two ways of doing it. There's a quick and, quick and easy way, um, and then there's a little bit more of an in-depth way. Um, I will go over both with you. Whether you like to use a water-soluble ink or a non-water-soluble ink, we do have options available, available for both. Um, today I'll be using our JZ8067 water-soluble ink. So you just want to lift that little lever up. You want to take the, the nozzle of your bottle here and just gently dab a drop or two per ink pad opening where your little um, pins rest and that will absorb into the pad itself and then you're ready to start marking. So if you've added ink to your ink pad multiple times and it's at the point where the ink isn't absorbing as well or your ink pad is just very pressed down, almost matted, um, it might be time for you to change the actual ink pad. The way that you do that, um, you just grab a Phillips head screwdriver, um, hold your, hold your um, pins up again. There are three Phillips head screws on this lensometer. You unscrew them 
if the screw itself falls out, um, having a magnetic pad will be very helpful just because it'll catch that screw and it won't roll off the ta uh, desk for you. Um, but it can't get caught anywhere in the lensometer itself, so it will fall out. Um, so you just take all three of them off here. So once you have your plate um, removed, I suggest um, doing this with gloves just because as I don't have any on currently, um, just because all of the ink from when you've been adding ink on there will still be around the edges of the um, openings, and you just don't want to get that on your hands or your uniform or whatever it is. Um, so once you have the plate off, you just want to make sure your pins are lifted again. This just slides right out. You, This is probably going to be all orange and, and nasty looking. Um, you can just use a screwdriver or anything really just to pop that ink pad out of the holder. We do have replacement ink pads. Um, talk to your Amcon sales rep for uh, more details on that. But we do sell replacements of the ink pads themselves. You would put the new one back in there, slide this right back where it came from. And then you would reattach your plate, put your screws on, and you now have a brand new ink pad. If you want to save yourself the hassle of adding the ink after you've done all this hard work, you really can do it at this point. Just dab your ink onto the ink pad itself. You shouldn't need to do the whole entire um, ink pad just the three dots where your marking pins actually go because any of this here would just be ink drying up and, and not being used. So just these three dots here and then slide it right back in there, attach your plate, screw everything back in and you're good to go. One question that I get asked very often is how do you change the light bulb for the EQ6024 and that's actually a very um, quick and easy answer. There is no light bulb on the EQ6024. So this is fully operated um, by electricity, meaning you do have to have it plugged in for your lensometer to work. Um, as you can see, no light bulb. This will also be the same case for the 6405. Um, no light bulb on that one either. To sum up general care of a lensometer, and this will, um, this will apply whether you're using the 6024 or the 6405, um, you just want to make sure that you check Periodically, doesn't have to be very often, um, but just periodically make sure that all of your screws are nice and tight on the lensometer. You will find screws everywhere, um, all around the lensometer. If any of these screws loosen up over time, really the only ones that might um, will be the one around your eyepiece, uh, the one around your um, lens stop, the plate. Uh, any of the other ones down here should not loosen up. Thank you for tuning in for yet another um, edition of Amcon videos. If you have any questions or comments um, or would like to see a certain item discussed, talked about, explained, um, please reach out. I do um, appreciate any and all feedback and I love to hear back from you guys. Phone number is 1-800-255-6161 or you can reach out to me directly, Indira, at amconlabs.com. Till next time, bye.